okay so i went online and i saw something about professional cuddling i really didn't know it was a thing until now so i was like oh oh wow i was like <laughs> I was like, oh wow, well, why not share this with you guys, okay? So today I'm here talking about professional cuddling. If it's your first time here, make sure you enjoy this video to the end and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you are returning to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. And I hope you enjoy this video. So I found out there are people who actually get a certification and then become professional cuddlers so i was so so surprised and i wanted to share with you guys so professional cuddlers are paid to like cuddle total strangers okay so what they do is to try to suit your spirit and keep you calm and care for you through cuddling okay okay so if you're felt if you're feeling a certain way and you need to cuddle with somebody you can actually sign up or book up with them and they come in and then they cuddle with you i remember all this cuddling has nothing to do with um sex or anything like that so the whole thing is to make you feel is to make you feel comfortable is to make you feel safe and is to make you feel so calm and relaxed about whatever you're feeling so they are going to be in there with you and making you feel safe all the things they do is so professional so remember with the job they do has nothing to do with arousals or anything like that so professional cuddlers are paid to cuddle total strangers and they do this to make you feel so comfortable so calm and maybe if you're having a hard time or going through something and you need someone to cuddle you these these guys will come in and then they will cuddle you irrespective of your race your age or whatever if you're interested in doing this you can actually purchase their services when it comes to payments some people charge from $80 an hour to $200 an hour and mostly it's recommended if it's your first time having a cuddling section it's best to go 60 minutes that is what most first timers do so to do this you go through a couple of steps before they can actually sign you up for this service so before all these steps okay you, you have like a get to know me section not me but like you know the person you're going to cuddle with you have a get to know me section and then the person will ask you questions about yourself you can also ask them questions and you guys will sign an agreement and know everything is just going to be professional the cuddler you choose will be the one to ask you all the questions and then you guys will get to know each other okay so you get to know your cuddler your cuddler gets to know you so it can be done on a regular call or a video call that's how they get to know you before they get to know you section you need to sign an agreement so after they go through the whole getting to know you process you asking them questions and they asking you questions after all that they tell you how the process is going to be so if you get to know how the process is going to be and you still want to do this then they will take your id to confirm who you are and then they can um talk about payments so since you guys are coming to an agreement on the payments and everything else you guys can also talk about how you want to be touched during this cuddling process okay so you guys can discuss all that they are open to communication because they are there to just you know make you feel good and keep you calm but not to arouse you so they are there to make you feel all that but not to arouse you that is why they go to a training section they have classes on how you can become a professional cuddler online so this is like it will teach you all their ethics like you have to be professional in which type of cuddles you can give and you know some of the cuddlers go through some situations where they find it so uncomfortable because some clients demand so much from them which is not part of the agreement so it can be really dangerous sometimes in this field of work okay so if you know you are going through something right now and you are interested in doing something like this to make yourself feel better or you need like some kind of company you can do this by going on cutlist.com 
or you can go on cuddlecomfort.com. Those websites will help you if you are interested in getting a cuddle and if you are interested in becoming a cuddler, like if you are interested in becoming a cuddler, like a professional cuddler, you can also go online and then you can take some six weeks online courses. I know some of you are thinking right now, does that have to be only cuddle? Yes, it has to be. Do you need to have a particular type of clothing on? Does your clothes need to be a certain way? The best clothing you can wear is to wear your PJs. So you can just wear your PJs and be comfortable. That would be a best option when you know you're gonna have to cuddle someone and not get aroused in any way. When you sign up the contract with your professional cutlass, then you can go over and decide on what clothing you should wear and i know some of you would also talk about your personal hygiene so i know some of you would also be concerned about personal hygiene and how that is going to be like so those are all things you have to look into before you decide to do that with your cutlass okay so is there a refund will i get my money back if i'm not liking the hack Will I get my money back if I feel like this hug or this, if I feel like this cuddles is not for me because I don't like the person's hygiene or something like that? So yes, if you meet your professional cuddlist and you feel like you don't want to do this anymore because you don't like maybe the way they smell or something, yes, you can cancel it. So each and every professional have their own way of dealing with cancellations and everything so you will have to talk to the the professional catalyst to come up with how um, you're gonna get your refund so the professional catalyst they are there to talk to you and cuddle you so if you feel uncomfortable in any way they just want you to tell them they don't want you to wait till it becomes like a whole issue before you tell them they just want you to tell them cuddle you be there for you make you feel at peace help you go through whatever emotions you're feeling in the moment so they want you to actually communicate with them so i hope you enjoyed this video if you are a professional catalyst leave a comment below do i see myself hugging a total stranger for 60 minutes or 90 minutes no i don't see that no i don't see that i don't think i can it's something i can do but if, if you can do that that is totally cool so if you are if you are watching this right now and if you're a professional catalyst I hope you leave a comment below and if you enjoyed the video please leave a comment below if you have ever experienced being with a professional catalyst leave a comment below okay and thank you so much for watching this video if you made it to this far you are a true one and I totally appreciate you but make sure you go check out the other videos too okay and subscribe to the channel thank you Where's Garrett? Do I see myself cuddling a total stranger? Do I see myself like cuddling a total stranger? <laughs> Do I see myself cuddling a total stranger? Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't see it.